what day it is. It's July 1st, 2023. Congratulations to Brigham Young University, the University of Houston, the University of Cincinnati, and the University of Central Florida. You are now members of the Big 12. You climbed over the wall successfully and got into a Power 5 co conference right before the 2026 Gold Rush. Welcome to episode 254 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our channel. Smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's not waste any more time. Once again, hallelujah, it finally happened. For those universities, <laughs> wow, big day. Big day for the Big 12, big day for those four universities, the fan bases, the faculties, the student athletes, the students, of course, the entire fan bases. All of them took a long road to get to the Big 12. Some schools took a longer road than others. Let's take a look at BYU conference. Look at the Wikipedia. It already says conference, Big 12 conference. The past conferences back in 1922 to 1937, RMAC, the Skyline Conference in 1938 to 1961. And of course, how can you forget the WAC Conference, BYU, 1962 to 1998. Then they joined the Mountain West Conference, from 1999 to 2010, they went to become an independent football program from 2011 to 2022. And BYU has finally made it. They got to where they wanted to be in the Big 12. Houston, Lone Star Conference, University of Houston, 1946 to 48, the Gulf Coast from 1949 to 1950. The Missouri Valley Conference, 51 to 59, and they were independent from 60 to 75. And how can you forget Houston Cougars, part of the Southwest Conference, 1976 to 95, and it broke up. They had to join the Conference USA, 1996 to 2012. They joined the American Conference from 2013 to 2022, and now Houston, finally playing with some of their longtime rivals. Are they finally made it into the Big 12? Cincinnati, a long road. Started playing football, 1885. Independent from 85 to 1909. OAC from 1910 to 1925. Something called the BAC, 1926 to 1935. Was an independent program. 36 to 46. The MAC, 1947 to 1952. They were independent again. Cincinnati from 53 to 56. They joined the MVC, Missouri Valley Conference, from 57 to 1969. Had to jump back as an independent program. 1970 to 1975. Conference USA, 96 to 2004. Went to the Big East from 2005 to 2012. And then the American, 2013 to 2022. And Cincinnati, a long road to get there. But they finally are home. They jumped over the wall. They're in a Power 5 conference. They are in the Big 12. Cincinnati, congratulations. UCF, a shorter road than the other three. The conference affiliations. American Athletic, uh, I'm sorry, Mid-American Conference, the MAC, from 2002 to 2004. A lot of people forget UCF was part of the MAC Conference. Then they joined the Conference USA 2005 to 2012. The American Athletic Conference, 2013 to 2022. All of them had a long road. UCF had the shortest of the four. Cincinnati had the longest but they all got there. They're all where they want to be for now in the ever-changing college football landscape. They all four of those universities were able to jump over the wall to get into a Power 5 conference before the great gold rush of 2026 
when we're going to have an expanded college football playoffs. Yes, we're going to have it in 2024. But everything could possibly change again for 2026. And we know a lot more money is going to go into the pot in 2026 because there's going to be an open bidding for the content of those at least 11 playoff games. It could be more. We could be going to a playoff from 12 to 16. We do not know. But it is we coined the phrase, the great gold rush of 2026 here at peak around the corner. There were also some other announcements yesterday. Officially, the Big 12 was able to secure. They got the media rights deal down with Fox and ESPN going all the way to 2031. It's all been done, short form, long form, however you want to call it. The Big 12 officially, officially, officially got their media deal done. They also got a data rights deal done that's going to be announced here in the next couple weeks where they're going to sell their real-time data to sports books, some sort of consortium of sports books, and they're going to receive a whole lot of money back from that real-time data because those sports books are making more and more money because what they're offering, the options to their consumers is real-time betting during a college football game. And those sports books and those consumers, those gamblers, they want real-time accurate data coming in as the game is going on, which also includes accurate injury reports. Before the game, during the game, after the game, Big 12 is going to provide all of that. And in return, all those universities are going to get a whole lot of money. Millions and millions and millions of dollars a year for each one of those schools. All the other Power 5 conferences are going to do the same. Big 12 struck it first with an official deal done. And that's going to be announced in the next couple of weeks. Also, it was reported that the Big 12 is going to have some weekday night games. And that was all that was suspected that was going to happen. They're going to be Thursday night games. There's going to be Friday night games within that TV package that the Big 12 agreed with with Fox and ESPN. Again, Brett Yormark getting a lot of work done as the commissioner of the Big 12. But the big story, the big story of today. The first day of the University of Houston, Brigham Young University, University of Cincinnati, and University of Central Florida, the first day members of the Big 12 Conference, hallelujah, congratulations, a job well done. Stick with us here at Peek Around the Corner as we continue to follow the Pac-12 saga. Can they get their media rights deal? What is significant linear concept? What does that mean? Someone still has to explain that to me here at Peek Around the Corner. I'm just not bright enough to understand what the heck is going on in Pac-12 country. Until next time, from all of us at PATC, hallelujah. The next time I see you all again, please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.